Hindi, have you prayed Fajr? Mama, I will pray. Do you know what the time is now? Mama, I will pray. Fine, I will go and pray right away. Why do you keep waiting to be asked to pray? Why have you refused to understand the position of Salat in Islam? Mama, I didn't refuse to pray. I just haven't prayed. Hindi, it's not like you will be sent away if you appear like a Muslim. Nor will I be sent away if I don't appear like one. Wait a minute. Hindi, is this how you intended to go out? What is wrong with you? Even if you have vehemently refused to observe proper hijab, you shouldn't be this shameless. Mama, my clothes isn't fitted, nor is my makeup too loud. The event has a code, and this is just fine. The code specified a touch of red. You could wear anything decent with a touch of red. And in your dictionary, this isn't decent? Must everyone adopt your understanding of decency? Her understanding, or the law. Hindi, you won't leave this house dressed like this, and that is final. How about this, Mom? We are running late already. Just better than before. Do you always have to do that holier-than-thou thing, because you know Mom will support you? Call it whatever you feel like, but you and I know the law, and it isn't about Mama, but what's better for us? There is no compulsion in religion, right? I mean, Mama has done her best to raise us as good Muslim girls, but she shouldn't choke us with her preferences. She's choking us? Is that what you call it? She has just been a loving Mama that refused to give up on her girls. Well, I am a proud Muslim, but I have issues I struggle with. That shouldn't make it look like I am a disobedient servant to Allah. No hijab, boyfriend, partying, and worst of all, delaying Salat. Those are what you call issues you're struggling with, and not enough to worry Mama. Anyone who loves you for Allah's sake, will definitely worry. You make me look so bad? That's another problem. Anyone who loves you enough to politely tell you the truth, is judging you, and acting holier than thou. There is difference between admonishing someone or judging one. You don't seem to know the difference. Whatever. Just stop joining force with Mama against me. It's your call. Sweetheart, where did I go wrong in raising our girls? You haven't done anything wrong. You have, as a matter of fact, been the best wife to me, and mother to our girls. You practically lead by example. I thought to ask you, because I don't know what I did wrong. I feel sad with how Hindi turned out. I understand. I feel sad too, but you did all you could. You played your part, and that's what I will ask you about. I tried so much to be available, and participated so much, in their growing up moments. Hindi and Nadia are twins, raised together under same conditions, yet turned out so differently. See darling, guidance is from Allah. Prophet Lut, despite being beloved to Allah, and chosen as a prophet and messenger, didn't have all his family guided, even though he did his best. What will people say? Sometimes, I am ashamed to go for my da'awa class with young women. Some might think I am yet to remove the speck in my eyes, but wants to remove from others' eyes. I preach hijab, and appropriate Islamic mannerisms, but my very own daughter doesn't even represent my teachings. Look sweetheart, the Prophet wasn't swayed away from his da'wah to Allah's path, even though some members of his family remained unguided. This is even a case of being an unbeliever in totality, despite being from the family of a Prophet, and despite being so beloved to him. A butoli brings a bell. Exactly. Guidance is not from you, nor should you be prevented from doing your good work because of what people will say. People will always talk, people will always judge. Even Muhammad was called many names, but he didn't stop inviting mankind and genkind to goodness. He is your role model, and he is enough as one. I prayed for them, and lived my prayer. I was there for them, and willing to listen. I really just wish they both turned out as I desire. We won't stop teaching, and leading them with good examples. And you shouldn't give up on your Da'oi program because of it. 
we won't always get all our wishes granted, because this is not paradise. But as long as you did all you could, that should be easy enough. Thank you, sweetheart. Your words are really encouraging. I am more thankful for everything you did for this family. You were there, even when you didn't have to be. As humans, you must do your best and pray for a positive result. But regardless of the outcome, continue to spread goodness the way you know how. Guidance is from Allah. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe, like, share, and express your thoughts in the comments section.